is time. It is time to brew your best beer. The 2016 SJ Pour Challenge is dedicated to your friend and ours, Paul Wickstein. Brought to you by Brewcraft USA. I make Gladfield Malting, Yakima Valley Hops, The Grain Bill, Brewers Exchange, Keg Kingdom Homebrew Supply, Hiraki Homebrew, and a special thanks to our silver sponsors. We are back in the ever traditional garb, jumping into another SJ Pour Challenge World Finals beer. This is the Deer Phantom. Forgive me if I do not pronounce that correctly. That is, uh, it's ballsy to put Phantom on the bottle. This is a uh, Saison, 4.3% ABV. This is Saison style made with Styrian Goldings and Halital Blanc, a refreshing Belgian ale. So a little old school and then a little new school with the hops. That's pretty cool. The uh, ID on this is 57F, 29P, 36D. Again, the Deer Phantom. Uh, nothing else really to note online. So we're going to jump into this. I can't tell if it is bottle conditioned. It looks like it's probably bottle conditioned. Um... But looks like it's dropped pretty clear, so we'll see what we get. Gotta be kind of careful on the pour here. And by the way, if there's a way to my heart, it's generally through a sour or a saison. But I won't let that cloud my judgment. Beautiful light. Straw color, really clear. So it's got some uh, nice bubbles coming up on it, but um, they're actually rising kind of slowly. It's not, uh, which makes me think, I wonder if the mouthfeel is, uh, is hefty. Um, maybe a lot of wheat in there or something. Uh, really light straw. But um, but very bright. It's uh, yeah. It's not your normal like dull straw color. It's really bright and beautiful. <laughs> bright and beautiful. Um, it's it, it's pretty darn clear. It's got a slight haze to it. It's uh, it looks like it has a cap that's gonna stick around for a little while, but nothing crazy thick. Get a few bubbles streaming up from the sides. Um, but doesn't look crazy carbonated. Let's get a nose. Ooh, shoot. Saison yeast character like crazy. And it's a good, 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 good one too. It's got a real kind of spicy... Slightly phenolic, not off-flavor phenolic, but like Belgian Saison yeast character phenolic. Maybe just a hint of a clove character to it. And just the slightest hint of kind of a banana character. Wow, that, that smells great. It looks, sounds, smells like a very, very classic Saison. Cheers. It's a good beer, and it definitely has a lot of Belgian character to it. It's definitely got um, 
some clove. It's got some banana, kind of esters, phenols in there. I say esters, phenols. Um, esters. The clove is more of a phenol. It's got some spiciness to it. I don't get a ton from the hops. Which from a Saison, normally you don't. Um, so that's not necessarily any ding on the beer itself. It's really nice. It is, it is, it is pretty darn classic. Pretty darn classic Saison. It's, it's a little bit on the sweeter side for a Saison. Um, a lot of Saisons, the yeast character and the yeast strain itself really power, power through some serious sugar. So a lot of them in really dry. This one's actually on the sweeter side of a Saison in my opinion. It has some, almost some residual sweetness to it, some malt sweetness to it. It's not a complex malt bill, at least, uh, at least on the on the palate. But I think there's a hefty dose of uh, wheat in there because it's got. A medium to maybe a slightly above medium body to it. The uh, the carbonation is really nice, and again, I I'm, I I love saison. I love saison. I love brewing saison. I love drinking saison. Um, so some of this is impacted by my personal taste, not necessarily the um, any kind of flaws with the beer itself. Uh, there really aren't any fermentation flaws. There's no there's no issues with style. Anything that I say from this point on is purely personal preference. Um, I do like my saisons a little drier. Um, it's a little sweet for my taste, although not sweet in the sense of you're going, oh, this is sweet. It's sweet for the style. And it's, it's decently high in the range of the banana esters and the clove phenols. Um, ah, how approaching some of the characters of a Hefeweizen. Um, so I imagine maybe this was fermented at a pretty high temperature, which... A lot of times saisons are anyway, but certain strains throw more esters and phenols than others. Again, none of this is to be critical. It's trying to describe that there's more banana, clove, um, almost a little vanilla that sometimes you get with some Belgian strains than a classic, classic saison in the palate. Um, Nonetheless, it's it's really good. The mouthfeel is awesome. I wish the um I wish the carb the carb is about medium. I wish it was just above medium. Um bordering on the high side for a saison. But like I said, most of that is talking from a personal preference, not any kind of issues with the beer itself. Uh, it's beautiful. It is absolutely a stunner. Um, and a really nice drinking beer. You can see how that thing is cleared out a little bit. It had just a hint of chill haze to it, but now it is, it is lovely. So, there's nothing wrong with this beer at all. It is a, a great beer, and I can see why it got this far. This is the Deer Phantom. I love the logo. That's really awesome. This is ID number 57F, 29P36D, 
and kudos. Kudos for a great, great beer. I do love some Saison. Cheers to you. Good luck. We'll see you on the next one.